Initially, it was the idea of getting to work with Seth that I think was the first thing that sparked real interest. Um, I've been a massive fan, and the idea of being able to do something with him just seems really hard to like somehow fit my circle into his square. But I, but I was really eager to get have that experience. And then when I read the script, I thought just that there was great potential to actually do something that felt like it was a new version of what a romantic comedy could be in this day and age with where we are and just this kind of revolution of women's rights and um, and 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 getting to work with a guy who I knew would have fun with that and celebrate that and encourage that so um, I think all of those things got me really excited about the prospects of of doing a film like this. I play Charlotte, and she's a very driven, uh, yeah, she has real drive. She's uh, very ambitious, and has been for most of her life. Um, and we get to see her when she was a little younger in her relationship with Fred, and we realize that she's always had great ambition and, and has wanted to change big things and do big things and she ends up in the world of politics and we pick her up as Secretary of State. She's done really well for herself and now she's getting an endorsement from the president to, uh, f uh, for his support to run for a president. So when we meet her we think everything is really just working out exactly the way that she's always wanted to and what we realize slowly is that uh, along the way, she might have lost herself a little bit in order to gain all of this. And it takes uh, this person from her past, Fred, to kind of wake her up to the things that, that meant something to her and that she believed in when she was younger. I had a great experience working not only with Seth, but his entire team um, of producers. Um, it was just a, such a collaborative pro project to be a part of and um, it was just ever evolving and, and everybody until I mean the last day of shooting we were still rewriting stuff and I think everybody had a real investment in wanting to make this as great as possible and there's something about Seth when he walks into a room he's just incredibly confident at what he brings to the table and what his strengths are and he's an amazing writer and he understands story like nobody's business and then he also understands comedy and where comedy kind of has to live and breathe and then story has to live and breathe and it always comes from this very authentic place um, and so it was very impressive I was very very impressed He's just somebody who has a very strong sense of the movie that he wants to make and I think you always want that from your filmmaker. You're always looking to somebody to kind of say definitely like this is this is the road we're on and this is the story we're telling and there's nothing worse than kind of like blindly walking in, onto a set and therefore onto a story and not knowing where the hell you're going and Jonathan is not that kind of filmmaker and it's it gives great confidence to everybody. Um, to then work towards that, but he's just a very smart guy and he really knows these kind of movies really well and he has great taste. I think the element of surprise, I think in these movies we feel like we can predict it from a mile away and we made a real effort to not do that, to really keep the audience guessing. Um, and so all of those tropes that a lot of these movies kind of follow, we refuse to, to 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 obey and I think it helps the movie feel real too it's like you know the, this is a woman in this day and age with the struggles that we're facing it feels very contemporary it doesn't feel dated it doesn't feel um, easy it feels it feels like something that I think women and men will be able to relate to and then also just have a blast and and laugh their asses off and at the same time be moved and go on like a really fun romantic journey. Hey there, here's today's daily fact that slightly scandalous charcoal drawing of a topless Kate Winslet in Titanic was drawn by none other than the director himself, James Cameron. Now if you want something done right, sometimes you just need to do it yourself. 
Now remember to click here below to subscribe for more content or on the side to watch another video.